due to its mid-engine location. Our pumper tanker offers tank sizes ranging up to 3,000 gallons. Requiring only two firefighters for operation, the Telescort is available on a custom or commercial chassis and can deliver a thousand gallons per minute master stream while providing the ability to carry out rescue operations. Reliable Pierce aerial ladders are available up to 105 feet in length and may be midship or rear mounted on a Pierce arrow or Lance custom chassis. The 105-foot aerial tiller is designed to provide improved maneuverability on crowded or narrow city streets. The 100-foot aerial platform provides smooth, precise elevation from minus 5 degrees to plus 75 degrees and, like our ladder and tiller, meets or exceeds all NFPA requirements. Heavy-duty rescue vehicles are available in a wide range of standard sizes and custom designs. While we're understandably proud of the trucks we produce, we're also very proud of the people who build them. At Pierce, the skill, craftsmanship, and dedication of our employees plays a vital role in providing the quality apparatus people have come to expect from us. Everyone's input and contributions are important, and the well-being of our employees is a primary concern. Whether we're adding production lines or providing important fire training through classroom or hands-on instructions, our employees are an important element in anything that happens at Pierce. By developing a winning team attitude, everyone shares the feelings of pride as each new unit rolls out the door. The first step in production of Pierce Fire Apparatus begins with our professional in-house sales staff assisting Pierce dealers to assure the customer's specifications and requirements are met. Once the actual order is entered, the master scheduler determines when the various components will be needed. The contract administration department then begins the task of following through on each item needed in the construction process. The engineering department begins on the drawings for the truck, paying strict attention to detail to assure it will meet customer specifications. The engineering department utilizes the latest state-of-the-art equipment, including a computer-aided design system that displays various views and sizes of truck components, along with drawings of the complete truck. Finished drawings and designs are sent to a plotter, which automatically draws the finished designs. The actual construction process begins at the fabrication plant where production of parts and components takes place. Raw material is sheared, punched, formed and welded into Pierce Fire apparatus components. In the last year, approximately 3 million pounds of bar stock and almost 7 million pounds of sheet stock were used in the construction of Pierce Fire apparatus components. Computers keep track of the various items being fabricated, assuring that each job moves according to schedule. Shearing, sawing, cutting, notching, punching, and forming machines process the raw materials to enhance quality and productivity. CNC, or computer-controlled equipment, turns out parts in uniform size and shape. Statistical process control charts are used to manage the various cutting processes. After construction, basic components are either shipped to the assembly or chassis plants, or are moved to other areas in the fabrication plant, where they're welded into various sub-assemblies, such as side panels, doors, brackets, platforms, water tanks and cabs. Four models of Pierce cabs are assembled at the fabrication plant. Once our Pierce Arrow, Dash, Lance and Javelin cabs have been built, they're self-inspected by our employees and are regularly audited by quality control to ensure they meet specifications.
certified welders construct various sizes of water tanks, which are then degreased and shot blasted in a booth to prepare the surface for better paint adhesion. To ensure full coverage, difficult to reach areas of the tank are coated by hand before two Guardian II epoxy coatings are applied. On parts that will be inaccessible later, a coat of primer and polyurethane finish paint is applied to help prevent corrosion from the inside out and to assure all areas of the apparatus receive the finest rust protection possible. While construction of initial components takes place at the fabrication plant, the truck's chassis is being constructed at the chassis plant a 100,000 square foot facility dedicated exclusively to Pierce chassis construction. Three production lines are used for chassis assembly with other areas designated for chassis sub-assemblies. Cabs, doors and other components completed at the fabrication plant are staged at the chassis plant prior to entering a complete metal finishing and state-of-the-art paint facility. Here, the cab and other parts undergo meticulous metal finishing in preparation for the painting process. As one crew works on the cab shell, another works on doors and miscellaneous parts. After the metal finishing work is completed, all parts of the cab are pre-treated with a special wash to clean and prepare the surface for priming. The cab interior receives a special wrinkled mar-resistant coating, while the underside is insulated for noise and temperature control. All parts of the cab then enter our state-of-the-art paint facility where they're primed with the highest quality corrosion-resistant primers. Before any part of the cab leaves the paint department for the chassis line, supervisors see to it that all Pierce quality control standards have been met. At the cab assembly area, chassis doors are assembled, glasses put in, and roll-up devices are installed. Wiper motors, seats, and other components are added to the cab. The instrument panel is installed and wiring for door switches, lights and other electrical components is performed. The instrument panel is pre-assembled in this sub-assembly area. All wires are color-coded and numbered for easy maintenance. Circuit breakers, gauges, switches and wiring are fully installed and inspected prior to the user-friendly instrument panel moving to the cab assembly area. While the instrument panel and cab are being worked on, blueprints are pulled and a set of frame rails are begun. One of the few manufacturers to use 110,000 PSI heat-treated steel as standard material, Pierce has the rails made to their exact specifications in a wishbone design to eliminate the need for cutting and notching. Every frame is custom drilled depending on customer specifications. There are no holes drilled in the frame that do not serve a purpose. The frame rails are then moved to the frame-up fixture. There, cross members and spring hangers are bolted to the rails to ensure a square and level frame. Torque values are inspected and critical bolts are sealed. At the next station, the rails are set upside down on jack stands. Springs are hung and electrical and air harnesses and tanks are installed. The frame is then turned right side up to install the axles and wheels. Generally, Pierce apparatus is equipped with a diesel engine and an automatic transmission. Once the transmission, fan and alternator have been installed, all hoses and fittings are pre-plumbed. When the engine is completely prepped and ready, it's mounted in the chassis. An overhead crane then positions the pierce arrow, dash, lance, or javelin cab on the chassis. All wiring harnesses are hooked to the cab through twist-type connectors and are color-coded, numbered, and run in a protective loom for ease of service. The heart of the truck, the water pump, is then installed. Various body mounting supports are attached, followed by installation of the fuel tank and driveline. Pierce is one of the few manufacturers that makes its own drive lines. 
Both ends of the drive line are balanced to within a fifth of an ounce as the shaft turns at 500 revolutions per minute. When the truck is ready to come off the chassis line, a quality control inspection is performed. After passing inspection, the chassis is then loaded for transport to the assembly plant, where the final stages of construction are completed. After the chassis arrives at the assembly plant, it's taken to the pre-line area. Here, the water tank is prepared by installing the vent, tank cover seal, and water level sending unit before it is installed on the chassis. After installation, the pump mechanic connects the tank to the pump, which has been pre-plumbed prior to installation on the truck. The truck is then re-inspected after the pre-line work has been completed. From here, the truck moves on to have side panels, front panels, and the rear compartment installed. At the next station, aluminum tread plate is installed doors are adjusted and body electrical work is begun. By the time the truck reaches the front of the line, the CAD CAM technician is laying out the pump and gauge panels. This layout is transmitted electronically to the turret press at the fabrication plant and the finished panels are then delivered to the panel assembly area. The various drain valves, control valves and rods are then hooked up and the pump panel is ready for installation. The entire truck is then inspected for any problems in the electrical, plumbing, or body areas. Any deviations from specifications are corrected immediately. The vehicle then enters the pump test facility to undergo rigorous tests to ensure it meets or exceeds NFPA requirements. These parts approximate those that will be performed later by an independent testing agency. During the four-hour inspection, different water volumes, pressures, and flows are checked to assure that the pump is working to desired specifications. To accommodate year-round testing, two 42,000-gallon underground water tanks store and recirculate the water. Once the truck has officially cleared the pump test, it enters the strip bay, where aluminum tread plate is removed, along with any other parts not needing painting. This extra step ensures that all surfaces receive a finished coat of paint for superior corrosion resistance. From this point, the truck moves to the paint shop, where parts are removed for painting. Each part is carefully hand sanded, welds are ground to enhance appearance, and all seams are caulked. Once all parts to be painted are removed from the truck, it's sanded and body filler is applied to assure a smooth finish. After sanding operations are complete, the truck enters the wash bay, where special chemicals are used to clean and prepare the surface for priming. After leaving the wash bay, the truck is air-dried before masking operations begin outside the paint booth. Once the masking operations are complete, the truck is driven into a booth where both the exterior and area underneath the truck are primed. Although individual components have been washed and primed at the fabrication plant, the truck exterior is totally primed again. The bottom of the truck and the entire pump compartment is then painted. And all compartments are finished in spatter gray paint to protect compartment interiors. The truck is then dried and finished sanded before moving into the taping and masking area. After the truck has been sanded and masked, it enters the paint booth. There it is first hand washed with solvent to ensure cleanliness and then wiped off with a tack cloth. The truck is then seal primed and the final coats of polyurethane paint are applied. Painters then inspect the truck to make sure that the paint job meets quality standards set by the quality assurance department. The truck is then completely unmasked before entering the drying oven to cure the paint job. After the truck has been baked in the oven, it's inspected by trained paint shop employees. After passing inspection, the truck moves to the final assembly area where work teams begin reinstalling doors, aluminum tread plate, lights and gauges. 
It then enters the detail bay where work like final electrical wiring and installation of brackets is performed. Details regarding the final lettering and striping of the truck, including use of any special designs and emblems, have been discussed in advance, so the lettering and striping can proceed smoothly. Pierce's Gold Star process has become the choice of most customers. Gold Star is a laminated product that totally encapsulates all artwork between two layers of vinyl material and provides superior weather protection and preservation of the original finish. Customers may also order Gold Star products to be sent out and applied in the field. Pierce Graphics also offer customers a broad range of reflective striping possibilities, including single, multiple, and angle designs available in a variety of colors. After all artwork, lettering, and striping have been applied to the truck, various quality control checks are made before taking the truck out for a rigorous road test. Any items not functioning exactly as specified are noted and corrected. A final operations test verifies that all systems are functioning properly. The truck then re-enters the pump test facility to undergo the NFPA required testing performed by an independent testing agency to be certain the pump meets all necessary requirements. When the pump test is completed, the truck is brought to the customer acceptance area where it's washed and cleaned and undergoes a final quality control inspection to ensure that when the customer arrives, the truck is spotless and ready for delivery. Any questions a customer might have concerning their unit can be addressed to customer acceptance personnel. When a customer leaves Pierce with their new fire apparatus, we want them to know that we've done everything possible to provide them with the finest fire truck built today. Service after the sale is not forgotten either. An extensive inventory of parts is available to keep Pierce Fire Apparatus in service long after it has left the factory, enabling us to furnish the part you need when you need it. Another important extra offered at Pierce is our fire truck refurbishing service. Older or damaged fire apparatus can be brought to the Pierce Service Center where skilled mechanics will perform whatever service is needed to repair, repower, or refinish the unit. The success of Pierce Manufacturing has been achieved through listening to the needs of our customers and then employing skilled craftsmen to turn the finest materials into the quality fire apparatus people have come to expect from Pierce. Through the finest dealer organization in the industry, covering both U.S. and world markets, customers from across the country and around the world have come to rely on Pierce for the highest quality fire apparatus available today. When it comes to recognizing and meeting the demands of today's fire service, you can depend on Pierce, America's premier fire apparatus manufacturer.